What's up everybody, it's Mr. Magoo and welcome to today's Gears 5 video in which we see what's in store in Gears 5 from June 1st through the 8th. Now it's the last week or the last couple days to be able to do the Horde event as well as the Golden Gun event to get your rewards for them. So make sure you complete those. Now the versus event for this week is going to be the Boom Snipes with Mutators. It looks like they're keeping the Mutators. Uh, I find them to be really funny and I actually like them. It kind of gives me a laugh sometimes when I play them. So it's good that they're bringing them back and keeping them in there. Uh, so it looks like their run of Mutator based events continues with the Boom Snipes. A game mode where you spawn in with a Boom Shot and a Long Shot. And the following mutators are going to be enabled. There's going to be low gravity death. Upon killing an enemy, their body will begin to descend to the sky or ascend to the sky. Uh, and cartoon filter, a cartoon style visual effect is in effect. Now, I've seen the low gravity death. I think that one is really, really funny. Uh, I didn't, the first time I saw it, I didn't expect it. So when I shot somebody and I killed them and I saw that they were floating in the air, I, I kind of, Kind of had a good laugh of that. But this event, uh, I haven't actually seen the cartoon filter. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see this week. But this is only going to run for one week. They didn't say or they didn't show if there was going to be any metal groups for this. So uh, we'll be able to see once the event comes out. But for now, uh, in the blog, they don't show any metal groups to complete. Now for Horde, they're going to be adding command the command map to private match. So the special horde tile event has come to an end. While we initially promised we'd be adding atrium, command, and turbine, we've discovered significant bugs on turbine and atrium. As a result, we'll only be adding command to private matches as it currently stands. And I did see a lot of those bugs and a lot of those exploits uh, that a lot of people were putting videos on. And uh, so they caught that, they saw it, and they actually are not going to be putting the turbine and the atrium maps i did see the turbine but i did not see the atrium i don't know what that bug was or, or exploit was so but they're not going to be including that they're only going to be including command going forward but for those of you unable to complete the tiled horde map metal group because of the atrium issue we have modified the metal to allow you to complete the metal provided you want to match on command and turbine once you complete your first match, after the update, the metal will complete. We'll look to resolve the issues with Atrium and Turbine when we can, and that'll allow us to add them back into the private matches. So that's pretty good. You know, they're going to fix it. They're going to look into them, and they're going to add them at a later date. But this Horde event with the tile maps, it was actually kind of challenging. It, it wasn't difficult in any way, but it, it actually took a little bit of time to complete, especially because you had to have 3 million damage. And I know you could, you know, modify your cards to get a little bit more damage, uh, but it took me a little bit. It took me, it took me a couple of days to complete. So it, it was actually good to see to have something that you wouldn't be able to finish really, really fast. So make sure you take advantage and complete both the Golden Gun and the Tile Horde map event. So that way you can get the reward with a horde. You'll get the relic weapon set for completing that. And you'll get 3,000 coins for completing the golden gun event. Now for the weekly store, we're going to see the desert swarm sniper for 250 iron. We're also going to see the desert swarm grenadier for 250 iron. We're also going to see the bare bone weapon set for 850 iron. Tic-tac-toe banner for 200 iron. And the oops blood spray for 250 iron. I think that the desert characters look really really cool you know it gives you a different feel a different look to their armor and i think that giving us the roadmap of what to expect i think that's pretty good pretty cool so remember that the weekly store you can always wait for the following week to not spend your iron i know iron like i said all the time iron is hard to come by even though you do get them in the tour of duty I, depending on the character, I usually, you know, if I really like them, I'll get them. I'll sacrifice some iron for that. But you can always wait for the following week to be able to get them with Gears Coins. Now for the feature store, we're seeing some items back that we have seen before. The Rainbow Dust Legacy set, you'll be able to redeem for free. 
the Gears Pride Omen banner. You'll also be able to redeem that for free, and I'm and I'm guessing it's for Pride Month. You'll be able to get the Civilian Anya again for 2,000 Gears coins or 250 iron. The Pistol Pack Cold-Blooded Execution for 2,400 or 300 iron. And the Heart Mark for 500 Gears coins or 65 iron. Now remember, the feature store is some of the items that come back from different operations. Now they may not bring this back soon. They may bring this back in other operations. Uh, or in the next operation, I should say, because it's eight. Operation Eight is actually the last operation. Or maybe they'll bring them back later on after that. But if you don't have any of these and you want to take advantage of anything that you can buy, uh, make sure to take advantage and, and get a hold of them. Now, for the Gears Esports store, we are seeing the return of Anthony Carmine in Black Steel. He looks, he looks freaking cool. I mean, what Black Steel character does not look cool? I mean, I think. All Black Steel characters are cool. It's just the black with the blue lights or the black with the red lights. You know, if it's a if it's a locust character, I think it looks pretty freaking cool. But it looks like we're we're getting the Black Steel characters. Uh, I think the other one that was announced was the Black Steel Locust Sniper. Uh, that we had kind of gotten a tease of that. Make sure you watch out for that because he may be coming in the coming weeks. This one, uh, the Anthony Carmine, may be here for a couple weeks. So we'll have to wait for the next couple weeks unless they change it for the following week for another Black Steel character. Now the Black Steel Carmine is going to be the same just like the Black Steel Savage Cantus. He's, he's going to be going for $2.99 as well. Now, I did want to remind everybody that we did get news last week on Friday regarding on the new Phase 3 Split 1 Watch and Win. Uh, it's going to be an event for the following five weeks in which we're going to be able to get points to be able to redeem the, syn the Team Syndrome weapon skins, as well as a chance to redeem for the Black Steel Kate, just like they did with the, the Chrome Steel Swarm Sniper. This is actually gonna be uh, the Black Steel Kate. So that way you gotta earn enough points to be able to get her. I did make a video on that. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. You'll be able to know everything uh, to be able to get them. And it explains everything as well. And that's pretty much what you can expect this week in Gears 5. Let me know what you think about the week. We got the two Desert Swarm characters. Uh, they look pretty cool to me. What do you think about them? I know that we already saw the roadmap of what we're getting. What other characters would you like to see in this drop one? Also, what do you think about the return of the Black Steel Anthony Carmine? What other Black Steel characters would you like to see? And let me know how you're doing in Operation 7. Do you like it? Do you like the new ranking system? What would you like changed? Or would you rather go back to the old ranking system? If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And also hit that bell for notifications on when I upload another Gears 5 video. Thank you so much, everybody, for the support. It's been unbelievable. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all on the next one.